I'm going to introduce a new project of Global Young Academy that is Science for Youth. As you know that there are a lot of challenges in the, develop, in the developing and developed nations, especially in the science education. The challenges are more in the developing countries because the teachers, they are not mainly from science background. In addition, there is little or no practical work in the science classes. There is no career counseling, and there are many challenges like this. So in order to meet these challenges at school and college level, we start a Science for Youth project. So in this, we are asking the researchers at universities and research institute to visit their local area schools and colleges. So what they do, they visit their local area schools and participate in different scientific activities. That could be a lecture, that could be career counseling, that could be round table discussion, and many other similar activities. Initially, we started this project in Pakistan, and we had 35 such activities. I also participated in two of such activities. In first activity, I visit a primary school in which I introduced the kids about the germs and how they spread the disease. In addition, I introduced about the healthy food. I also participated in another activity in a high school and I introduce the students about the cloning and the stem cells and their application. They were very much interested and enthusiastic to learn about these things because these things are not taught in schools and colleges, especially in the developing countries. So uh, for, uh, for this project, we have a project coordinator in our country. Then we have country coordinator, both male and female. Then we have five province coordinators district coordinators, and in districts, we have demonstrators who go to the schools and participate in the activities. And at the end, we have an activity report in which they mention about the topic, the duration of the lecture, the type of activity, and so on. So this was the project in Pakistan initially, and now we want to extend this project of Global Young Academy and National Academy of Young Scientists Pakistan in different countries, so initially, uh, the researchers from Senegal, India, Egypt, and Iran, they are interested to take this project to their country, and they will have the similar activities.